of indigenous communities in Bangladesh are protesting a government decree they say denies their existence. The country's media has been ordered to avoid using the word indigenous during coverage of the UN's International Day of the World's Indigenous Peoples. The government has been trying to censor the word for years, insisting there are no such groups in the country. About three million people in Bangladesh claim the status. Tanvir Chowdhury has more from Madhapur, Bangladesh. Bangladesh is home to more than 54 indigenous peoples. They speak more than 35 languages and have distinct cultural identities. Yet they are referred to collectively as Adibashis. Tandra Dalbot teaches young people about their cultural heritage to ensure it is passed on to future generations. Of course I consider myself as indigenous. Our ancestors, including my forefathers, have been living here for centuries and through birthright, I am a native indigenous person. Indigenous groups represent nearly 2% of the population of 168 million. Bangladesh to this day has not adopted the 2007 UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and the land rights of the indigenous communities in this country still remain one of the most contentious and unresolved issues. The UN Declaration obligates the government to restore ancestral land and protect minority groups from oppression and discrimination. It is unfortunate that our state still refuses to recognize the identity of our people as indigenous for more than a decade now, which is wrong. If indigenous people are recognized as per the UN mandate, it could also serve the nation's interests by accepting the cultural and ethnic diversity of all concerned. Some school textbooks have been published in indigenous languages, but most are gathering dust. Even though some school books have been published in native languages, so far the government has not given us formal permission to teach those in schools. In 2011, Bangladesh enacted a law that classifies non-Bengali tribe as ethnic minorities rather than as indigenous groups. Right groups and analysts think that formal recognition of indigenous peoples would mean the return of lands and protection of fundamental rights, which is why the government is reluctant to adopt the UN resolution. Al Jazeera had hoped to get some clarity from the information minister, however our request for an interview went unanswered. Chandvi Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Madhupur, Bangladesh.